Hey guys, in this video, we are talking about four essential tools that you absolutely cannot live without when you are detailing farm trucks, muddy cars, or just really dirty detailing situations, particularly on the exterior of the vehicle. But before we get into that, guys, if you have not yet grabbed the Wilson Auto Detailing free guide to starting your auto detailing business for under $500, then go below in the YouTube description box below this video and grab that free guide. There will be a link there and you can learn from the mistakes that I've made over the years so you can see the top 10 tools and products you need to start with in the detailing world so you don't waste money. Now, as you guys will see throughout this video, this is an extremely dirty farm truck that got super muddy before it came to my garage. And now it is up to me to bring it back to that original shiny, good looking condition. One of the reasons why this is so difficult is because when you're going mudding in a truck, the mud doesn't just sling on the obvious places, but it gets everywhere. The places you can't see, the places you can see. And what ends up happening is when you think the truck is clean, you spray that pressure washer in one of the places that you haven't yet hit, and then it explodes mud all over the places that you've already cleaned, and it ends up being really frustrating. And so this is one of those areas of the detailing world where if you don't have the right tools, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. So let's go ahead and jump into those four tools that I think are absolutely necessary. Number one, the most obvious one, is going to be a pressure washer. In this video, I'm using just the electric Sunjo pressure washer. And the reason for that, because many guys ask me, do you need a gas or an electric pressure washer? And while I'm not going to necessarily tell you, you have to have one or the other, I will say in my world, the Sunjo electric pressure washer has been more than enough, even with these particularly muddy, disgusting situations, because when you couple the right tools with the right products, you end up shortening the detailing curve pretty significantly, and you don't always have to have the 4,000 PSI big gas pressure washer, especially if you don't want to be carrying a gas tank, which I don't. However, a gas pressure washer is absolutely fine as well. One of the reasons why you absolutely have to have a pressure washer is simply because you are not going to be able to do this in any sort of realistic or rational, timely manner with the pressure that you get from a regular hose and a garden spray nozzle. It's never going to happen. And while I don't always like using words like never and always, in this particular situation, it makes sense to just say it's not going to work. You can see with each situation where the mud is sitting in the obvious and the not so obvious places, the pressure washer is obviously going to make it incredibly easier. I can kind of liken it to a steamer for the interior. Without a steamer on the interior, I would never be able to get into the places necessary and clean them out with the results I would get with a steamer. And so it's just not even something I'm willing to approach, much like this truck would never be something I'd be willing to approach without a pressure washer. So as I continue kind of peeling the mud off of each area here before we get more detailed, you're also going to notice that I'm going to pull out some some drill brushes. Drill brushes for the interior and exterior alike are one of those what I call low cost, high impact tools in the detailing world simply because they can be used on virtually every surface, reasonably speaking. Of course, you're not going to put it on the glass or the paint, but in this particular situation, they're going to work incredibly for the sidewall of the tire. They also work incredibly, speaking of the soft stiffness drill brush, especially the round ones for the wheels in particular situations when I'm pulling off brake dust in a pretty severe uh, case. And they also work fantastically for fabric wheel wells. This is something I use drill brushes for all the time. Fabric wheel wells are very difficult to deal with. And in this particular case, actually, this truck has fabric wheel wells and the pressure washer with the drill brushes combined make for a deadly combination in dealing with those in a timely manner. These products and tools that I'm talking about are not only tools that are necessary to get the job done and really save you a lot of peace of mind, but they're also products and tools that are necessary for you to get them done in a timely manner. It does not make sense to do things that take a ridiculously long amount of time simply because you will reach that threshold of what someone is willing to pay for a specific job to get done. And because of that, we have to figure out how to do things in a timely manner and get the results that we know are necessary for the situation. 
Now, as you guys can see, the third product that I'm going to talk about here is the foam cannon. The foam cannon is absolutely necessary whether you want to do a pre foam rinse before you do an agitation wash or not, simply because the spread you're going to get with the foam cannon. It does not make sense for me to try to reach my hand with a mitt into all the cracks and crevices of this truck when I can simply take my foam cannon, spray that soap in every nook and cranny, and in some cases, I will do something I call hypercharging my car soap and I'll pour degreaser in with the foam cannon and I'll really pour a pretty significant amount in there because not only am I going to get a ton of suds and a ton of foam, it's also going to be really effective at breaking down dirt on its own so I can get a lot of those undercarriage spaces, those wheel well spaces, and it just helps my spread like crazy. And the fourth and final tool that you must have for a muddy truck or dirty detailing situation is a pressurized pump sprayer that you saw me using spraying the degreaser directly on those muddy surfaces. Because you're having to use so much product, it does not make sense to use a simple spray bottle. Your forearms will be crying at night when you get done, and you will not be able to grab anything for the next week because you'll be so sore. It also, of course, cuts down significantly on your time. So if you guys want to see any of these four tools or products that I talked about in this video, go below in the YouTube description box and you will see all of those linked up. These are what I would call staple tools that you must have really for most situations in the detailing world. And of course, let me mention again, go below in the YouTube description box and grab that free guide to starting your auto detailing business for under $500. Guys, I promise you it makes way more sense to learn from other people's mistakes. Don't waste money on tools and products that don't work. Just grab the guide and you will shorten your learning curve significantly. As always, guys, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you get notified when I publish future videos if you like this information. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video. Big. Big.